Ah, thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled, Where? Based upon our understanding of the plan of God, what is the answer as to where we are? Sometimes the obvious is too obvious to be obvious. And this continues to be the case within man's brief existence here on Earth. We understand that Adam was created by God in God's physical image and likeness here on earth. And there is a consistency concerning God's purpose and plan. And therefore, we can conclude that this earth is where everything began. Because man has the ability for sleep and his soul is in the likeness of God's soul, this means that God has the same ability. When God awoke, his very first creation formed beneath his feet, called the earth. And every time man has awoke from sleep and stands upon this earth, he has been witnessing for the person of God. David understood in Psalm 24 the importance of this brief one-time opportunity man has to witness for God upon the earth with all of the consequences of the actions and attitude man sets in motion being far greater than anything he can ever accomplish once his life here is over. For the remaining time, we have to represent the one true God and his only son, Jesus. We understand that this age, this evil world age, has to play itself out. And therefore, this environment will become increasingly negative. Even every negative that Satan ever brought into existence further proves God's unconditional love for him as Jesus paid for his sins, as well as our own. Now we understand the privilege we have of being where we are. For all of heaven is observing the record we are making while we remain here. You see, all of heaven continually learns and appreciates God's will being done on earth through those who make the choice. The choice of obedience to him. Until